Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on solving system of equations with a matrix, specifically Gauss-Jordan elimination. So here I have a pretty simple system of equation and the first thing I want to do is I want to write it as a matrix. To do that I'm going to write the coefficients, the numbers for the variables in our constant number without any of the other math symbols. So I'm going to put 1x plus 1y equals 8, 1x minus 1y equals 4. Now that I lifted, listed off the numbers, I put brackets around the numbers and I instantly have a matrix. What I really want is an augmented matrix and what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent the equal signs with a line that's augmenting the matrix. It's not really part of the matrix, it's just augmenting it. So this reads x plus y equals 8, x minus y equals 4. All right, what we do when we are using elimination is we're trying to get all of the major diagonal. So a matrix can have many, many more rows and columns. And an identity matrix is one where everything is zeroed out except everything along this main diagonal. This is an identity matrix. And if this column represents X and this column represents Y and eventually more variables, if we had an augmented matrix, we would have X equals Y equals Z equals W equals so that's what we want. We want an identity matrix on the left. So I'm going to basically build it out by pivoting on each of the ones that I want. So I'm going to pivot on this one. I'm going to use this one to eliminate that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace row 2 with row 1 minus row 2. Now the way I'm going to calculate this, I'm just going to write it out. I'm going to say row 1 is 1, 1, 2. 8, negative row 2 is, and I put that negative in there because I want to make sure that I add down throughout. If you start to subtract, you're going to eventually make a small mistake. And on a small system like this, that's not so bad, but there are bigger ones, ones that look more like this, and you want to make sure that you control everything really carefully so you don't drop a negative and do the wrong operation. All right, negative row 2 negative 1, positive 1, negative 4. When I add down, I get a 0, a 2, and a 4. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide those three numbers by 2. So I have a 0, 1, and a 2 because that's going to save me a step in my matrix. Okay, so I'm going to move across. I didn't change my first row, 1, 1, 8. My second row became 0, 1, 2. Brackets for a matrix, line for an augmented matrix. And now I'm going to pivot on this one. I'm going to use this one to eliminate that one. So I'm going to say row 1 minus row 2. Again. This time I'm just going to subtract in line because row 1 is already on top, row 2 is already on the bottom. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, 8 minus 2 is 6, and then I rewrite my 0, 1, 2. With my augmented matrix notation, you see that to the left of the line, I have my identity matrix. This translates to x equals 6, y equals 2. As always, we want to check our work. We come back to our original system. Is x plus 2 equal to 8? is, sorry, x, 6, adding in my head, um, is 6 minus 2 equal to 4? Sure is. So we write our answer as an ordered pair with parentheses, 6 comma 2. All right, there we go. We've solved our system using an augmented matrix and row reduction. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks!